there are things. Even though you cry from Nati tomorrow, if you refuse to, to, to hold transition, God will not bring it to you. Not because God does not like you. It is simply because you cannot carry them. Sometimes when God gives you those things, those things will start affecting you. God loves you so much. So he will not permit several things to come to you. But you have heard what? Transition. What do you think was the difference between the Esther that was in Mordecai's house and the Esther in the palace? What was the difference? What was the difference between the Joseph in the pit and the Joseph in the palace? What was the difference between the Peter that could deny Jesus and the Peter that could preach 3,000 and got saved? You are not doing yourself a favor when you refuse to transit. And I'm telling you, it is possible to be in this kingdom for 10 years and you still remain the same way you are. It is possible. I've seen people, they have been following God for 15 years. Nothing has changed. No different thing. God cannot invest power into their hands because they have not, they have not become the person that can conduct spiritual things. Transition. I want to tell you, this is not the best to your life. Can you be with us today as we take a transition? Some of you, you need to shade scare. You know, when, 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 when snake want to transit, they shade scare. They shade scare. Your, your brightness color comes out when you start experiencing transition. Ah, some of you, you are like Jasper. Some of you, your, your, your color in the realm of the spirit is, is, is like frankincense. But it will not come until transition takes place. You need to say scared. You need to say scared. It is true that you are born naked, but you are not born empty. Those things will only find expression in your life when you start undergoing transitions. Transition. You know, my understanding of transition makes me to believe in anybody that comes my way. Ah, every man you meet is in his raw form, raw form. It is transition that will bring them to their finest form. Every man you meet. Even the guy that is a conductor, let him stay with me. If I can introduce him to what I will introduce you to, you will see him. He will hold microphone and demon will cry. Those guys you call Abro men, the difference between them and what they ought to become in God is transition. It's transition. Transition. Provided they refuse to transit. You will still live according to the detail of this world. So my assignment today is to teach you how do I make transition? How do I enter a superior version of myself? How? Even Jesus, do you know a point came in Jesus' life? The, the, the parents took him to Egypt. <laughs> do you still remember now? That was the time I was on Jesus. So. See, transition must happen to every man that wants to be great. Transition. A man that wants to remain small will run away from transition. But if it, it is greatness we are talking about, you must, you must, you must hold transition. You must hold transition. 